So I'll be showing you how to use guided access on your iPad. Now this is going to be the full guide. I'll be showing you everything you need to know. And you can use guided access, for instance, when you want to give your child an iPad and you don't want them leaving the app you've set them on. It could be YouTube Kids or just a regular YouTube app. You can have the iPad locked to that specific app using guided access, okay? So before you enable guided access, first of all, go to settings and set it up. So I'll just go to settings on my iPad and then on the left hand side, go to accessibility, tap on that. Under accessibility, if you scroll down, you should see guided access, okay? So first you want to make sure you enable guided access. Now, once you enable guided access, there's going to be some more options like passcode settings, time limits, uh, the accessibility shortcut and the display auto lock, okay? So the passcode is basically your guided access passcode. So this is a passcode that you need to exit or to get out of guided access. So once you set up guided access for your child, they cannot leave guided access without the passcode. So what you want to do is, first of all, enable Face ID. So you can actually use Face ID to unlock guided access. And then also you can set a passcode. So I'm just going to set a simple passcode just for this tutorial. Make sure you set a good passcode that your child or anyone you're setting guided access for cannot guess. Now, once you do that, you can go back one step and then you can have time limits. And if you have any time limits, after the time limit, you can have a sound or uh, a spoken voice. And then do you want the accessibility shortcut? So this option says when you triple click the top button during a guided access session, accessibility shortcut settings will be displayed. So if you want that, you can enable it. And if you don't want it, you can disable it. I think it's safe to leave it enabled. And then you have the display auto lock. So this is basically how long it takes your iPad to automatically lock during a guided access session. Okay. Now that's going to be the default. So it's going to take the default auto lock uh, screen time. Now, once you've set everything up, now it's time to use guided access. So let's say you want to lock the Instagram app, for instance. Okay. Or let's try another app. Let's say you want to lock let me get uh, let me get YouTube. So you've got the YouTube app here. Launch it. So you can even start playing something. Let's play one of our videos just to avoid copyright issues. So let's say you're having something that your child is watching on YouTube like so that. Today I'll be showing you okay. how to stop sharing your photos and videos from your iPhone 16 or iPhone 16 Pro. So you can have the video playing either in YouTube Kids or any other app. So now to enable get it access, just triple click on the power button. Okay, so the power button, just go ahead and triple click on that. And that's going to start guided access. So as you can see, currently we have guided access. You can pause the video, you can play, you can do, you can like, you can do whatever you need to do. You can even move to another video, but you can't leave the YouTube app. Okay. So you can see we cannot leave the YouTube app no matter what you try. You're not able to leave the YouTube app. Okay. So that's basically guided access. It locks one app on your screen of your iPad and you cannot leave that particular app. Okay. You can load other videos. You can do everything. Now there's also some settings you can make on guided access. You can have more options. So if you triple press on that button and then enter your guided access passcode, you should see the screen. Now this is a screen that allows you to either resume guided access mode you can end guided access mode, but then also you have options. So with options, you have a few things you can do. You can choose the top button. You can choose whether to enable or disable the volume buttons. So if you want them to be able to increase or reduce volume, the volume, you can enable that. You can also completely disable the touch screen by disabling touch. Okay. Now, once you select that, then it means the entire touch screen during guided access mode is going to be disabled and then also this is why you set the time limit this is why you can choose the motion settings all that all those things so for instance if you want the touch screen disabled turn that off and then now 
when we go and resume get it access you notice the touch screen cannot be touched okay you've basically disabled the touch screen so once again to go to that menu triple press the side button enter the guided access passcode and then you can choose to exit or to end the guided access and now everything is back to normal and you can exit the youtube app so that is basically how to use guided access on your ipad thank you for watching if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section below if you found this video useful don't forget to leave a like and even subscribe for more tips and i'll talk to you guys in the next one good luck